how do you distinguish between the words Negro and black? I, I don't distinguish. I, mean, I, I distinguish between the word, the way I have the word Negro is by dismissing it. And I dismissing it because I dismiss it because there's no such thing as a Negro, uh, because there's no Negro people and no Negro land. This is an, an adjective that somebody made a noun out of and slapped on a people against their will. And I dismiss the word Negro. Um, the word black uh, can relate to a whole lot of people and it can become con confusing. You see, people must relate to land, history, and culture. And this is what limits the word black. Because if you limit, if you say black, then where is the black land? I'm not sure what I'm talking If you say English, an image comes before your eyes, good or bad. The changing of the gods, Buckingham Palace, you know, stout and the Bengal Lancers, you know. If you say French, you know, good cooking, great lovers, Napoleon, all that. All, all immediately you've got an image. But you say, Negro, what comes before you? No images, really. A condition. And a people is not a condition. A people must have a, land, a name that relates them to land, history, and culture. And so therefore, the name of a people, if it's going to be authentic, cannot be black, that can refer to how the people look. The name of the people have to relate to the land of origin. Now, no one is having any difficult saying Italian-American, Greek-American, French-American. I don't think they should have any difficulty saying African-American or Afro-American, as the, as the case may be. Now, these are people who are black in the main. But let's get something straight. All Africans are not black. The black is the prevailing color in Africa. There are Africans who have been, not been mixed with any white people at all, who are like brown. And they've always been that way. And they're just as African as the blackest of the Africans. So if we got hung up on a narrow definition like black without explaining that it has elasticity that extends beyond a person being jet black, then uh, we, we get ourselves into another trap. We get out of one trap and get into two. So now let's qualify what we're talking about when we're black. But when we're speaking of a people on a world basis, then let's relate them to land, history, and culture. So we'll know what we're talking about until someone creates a nation called black uh, from which we emulate or uh, black land or uh, black Oreo or uh, black borough. Then uh, I'm afraid that the word black is rather limited. Right. <clears throat> like, thank you.